Hi there, welcome back to the channel. It looks like GM has finally gotten the 2025 C8 Corvette build and price tool up and live. So today I wanna to take you there, walk you through it, show you how to build and price your own C8 Corvette of any model, E-Ray, Stingray, or Z06. Can't do the ZR1 at this time. Or if you've been here before, just take a look at how it works and maybe inspire you to go to the website and build one for yourself. Build your dream car, see how much it would cost. See if you like all the options. So let's take a look at the computer now. First thing we have to do is enter Chevy.com in the browser bar. And this will come up on your page. You click on vehicles, go right down to performance. You click on performance and you'll see all four models up. You can't do the ZR1 yet, but we're gonna do a Z06. I've already got a Stingray. Let's see what my Z06 would cost me. We go down here to the build and buy button. You click on that. That brings you to the base C8 Z06. You can pick this car up in white for $116,800. That's a pretty good deal for such a supercar. But we're gonna go to convertible. Are you sure? Yes, we're sure. That takes the price up to $123,795. The model, we're going 3LZ. We want all the bells and whistles on this car. It's not the ultimate one, but we're, it's gonna be pretty pricey. That brings us up to 137,345, but it's still white. So let's take that white off of there. Too much money for a white car. Let's go with the new Hysteria Purple. Now, truthfully, it's not quite as purple as the images online. It's a little more dark blue. Then we're gonna go with the Carbon Flash Nacelles. Okay, that's gonna look really mean on the dark purple and blue car. They got tons of wheels to choose from. You can even go with the $15,000 carbon fiber wheels, but I wouldn't choose that for daily driving. And I have actually another plan in mind. We go over here to options. We go over here to the Tech Bronze Accent Package. It's gonna give us bronze wheels and a bronze highlighted Jake stripe, as well as bronze hash marks. Look at that. I've seen this on another Z06 from my club member, and it looks really good live. So now we're gonna take it to the exterior. We're gonna go down here to the brake section, past all these wheels. And I don't want a, these colored brakes. We're gonna go with the gray brakes and that's gonna give us the ceramic discs as well. So that's gonna look really good. Then on the interior, I wanna go with the natural two-tone interior, not the dipped interior as you see here but the natural two-tone with the perforated microfiber inserts. It'll pop up in just a second. There it is. We're gonna change those seats to two-tone in just a minute. We're gonna stick with the GT2 seats, not the, the competition seats. And we're gonna go with the natural seat belts. We've already got the carbon fiber steering wheel with the microfiber grips on it, already selected as part of the package that we chose earlier. 153,000 now. Okay, let's look at the rest of the options now. There's tons of options here. And we're scrolling down. Carbon fiber ground effects, we gotta go with that. And also the visible carbon fiber aero package with the high wing and the big splitter. We're gonna do a lot of carbon fiber on here. Carbon fiber mirrors. We've already got the stealth badges chosen. I've got those on my Stingray, they look great have to have the radiator grill guards, okay? Th those are right by the ground. The radiators get chewed up pretty good, pretty quickly, especially at higher speeds, you know what I mean? Okay, now on the, on the interior carbon fiber, you can't choose both levels. So we're just gonna choose level two for five grand extra. If it's worth it though, it's beautiful. Here's the two-tone seats. It's an extra 600 bucks. Carbon fiber sill plates, we gotta take that. And then over here on the right, they've got some nice carpets that say Z06 on them. The sill plates don't say Z06, so we'll take those. That way it won't be too matchy-matchy. I wouldn't do it if they both had Z06. Go with the black exhaust tips, and we got that carbon fiber splitter, so we have to have the front lift. I don't have the front lift on my Stingray, and it rubs all the time. Oh, for $100, trickle charger, 100 bucks, gotta get that. Okay, we've already got the brakes chosen, but we gotta get the mag ride. You have to have mag ride, it makes a big difference. Gives you a lot, a lot more options on your ride quality when you choose different modes. 
what's this right here? Oh, an engine specification plaque? Add a stylish detail to your vehicle's engine bay? Okay, for 100 bucks. It's a convertible, no one's gonna see the engine bay, but I chose it anyway. I'd probably go back and take that out, really, if it's a convertible. Okay, now here's the summary page. You're all done. You've chosen everything. You can go through here. You can look at what you've chosen. You can take some stuff out if you want. Go back and remove something or maybe add something more if you're still under budget. I'm way over my budget on this car though, let me tell you. A lot of options here. And down here at the bottom is the real price. I don't know why the top has a different price than the bottom. But this is kind of a quirky little side. It's GM. Remember, don't forget, you're working with GM here, okay? So this car is now up to 177285 Woo! Wish I had that money. I'd get this car. Now you click on those two arrows right there, and it brings up your rendering of what your car is going to look like. Look at that. Click through it here. Look at all angles. Top. What? I just noticed something on those wheels. We'll come back to that. Okay, we'll look through it again. Then you take the top down, look through it again with the top off. Looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna come up to the wheels here in a second. And you'll see, there it is right there. I forgot something very important for my build on the wheels. That's why I always go to this image here. See, I forgot the Jake center caps. Go back over here to the interior, exterior, scroll all the way down, Jake center caps. Got them on my Stingray. They look great. They pull the whole thing together. They add a little black to the center as well, makes it look really good. And here's our final C8 Z06. Beautiful. That's all it takes. Now, I ran through this kind of quick. Had a hard time keeping up with the voiceover, actually, as you probably noticed. Um, it'll take you a little longer. I spend about a half hour, 40 minutes doing this, going back and forth, looking at different things. And you can do this for any level C8, the Stingray, the E-Ray, or the Z06. It's a lot of fun just to think about a car you might like to have, if you could, or maybe you're ready to buy one. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. I'm Tim. See ya!